And his Hanoverian Highness loved it too. That was King George IV, of course, so besotted by all things Scottish that he resolved to see Sir Walter Scotland in the flesh. And what better Scott to stage manage the event than the Scott himself, Sir Walter. Sir Walter Scott, Bart, Bard of chivalry and romance. We feel that all the arrangements for this momentous occasion should be directed by that single mind of genius and inspiration to the Scottish nation, the author of Waverley. It was supposed to be a secret. How did they know it was me? Well, it had nothing to do with me, I'll tell you that. Ah, well, we need to find him a crown. Where's the Scots regalia? It's been discovered at Edinburgh Castle. Well, have it buried and I'll rediscover it. As you wish. That'll need to be a sort of midnight ploy, but I'll manage it. Your secret will be well kept as usual. Now then, the Highlanders are what you would most like to see. Each clan chief to bring half a dozen, no, oh, no, half a score of clansmen to Edinburgh. Mind, Highlandmen of decided respectability dress and accoutrement to be in proper order. Oh, I have. Well, that's understood. Aha! Uh -huh. The tartans. Oh, your eyesight's in good shape, Sir Walter, eh? Ah, oh, this is the tartans. Now, make sure the plaids are in the proper order and that the weaves of tartan are in accord with some vague historical precedent. In other words, a, a tartan fitting for a king. No. 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 No, select a handsome check, something in fitting contrast with His Majesty's tones of royal blue. Well, what about this one here? This is a, a scarlet red. Hmm. What check? Well, it's known as number 137. It's, it's a fraudulent check. Hmm. Call it Stuart. Stuart. Just plain Stuart. No. Call it Red Stuart. Oh, that's more appropriate. A Red Stuart. Royal Stuart. Royal Stuart you have? Ancient Royal Stuart. Oh, I like that. Aye. Ancient Royal Stuart it is. Ancient Royal Dress Stuart. Well, as you wish. Ancient Royal Dress Stuart. Ancient Royal Hunting Dress Stuart. Well, oh, there's no doubt about it, Sir Walter. You're a man of words. Ancient Royal Hunting Dress Stuart. I name it. Then bring for it the tartans, and we'll tartan the kingdom. Bring for it the tartans, bring for it the tartans. Ancient Omodra, ancient Omodra.
looking to the first of force to welcome him and all that 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 having been delayed overnight in Leith Harbour due to an unseasonable deluge of hailstones unusual for a in August in Scotland. His Majesty welcomes you aboard the Royal Yacht, Sir Walter Scott. His Majesty also wishes to convey to you, Sir Walter, that amongst his many subjects, you are the one he wants to meet the most in this, his northern kingdom. And to your fame, he toasts. To the King of Scots. The King of Scots. Chief of Chiefs. Very good. In order that I might forever remember this momentous occasion, I pray His Majesty grant me the honor of keeping this glass. Oh, I'm sure you. Keeping the glass? His Majesty grants your request. And now we'd like to proceed ashore and meet the rest of his Scottish subjects. Chamberlain, August the 15th, 1822. Notice is hereby given that His Majesty will hold a levy at the Palace of Holyrood House on Saturday next at one o'clock. Oh, that's Sir Ewan McGregor and McGregor. He's chief of the clan Gregalach. Ah, while there's trees in the forest and foam in the river, McGregor, despite them, shall flourish forever. Oh, that's music to the ears. Music to the ears. You get that printed. You're getting better than ever. Who's he? Who, the sleek, smart one? No, that. Pot-bellied pyramid of tartan. Well, that's Sir William Curtis. Clan chief? No, he's a chief biscuit maker to the Navy. He's a mere whopping. Hasn't he a trace of Scottish blood in him? Teach them the decencies of good three score. Cure them of tours, hussars in highland dresses. Tell them that youth once gone returns no more, that hired hussars redeem no land's distresses. Tell them Sir William Curtis is a bore, too dull even for the dullest of excesses. The witless Falstaff of a holy hell, a fool whose bells have ceased to ring at all. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. You should write that down because it can go out your head so quickly. I used to know someone who used to come out with great stuff at night. And he was saying to me in the morning, what was that I said last night? And I couldn't remember because I hadn't written it down either. Oh, magical moments. Magical moments. <laughs> 